What is up, everybody? Welcome back to some video. I hope y'all have an amazing day as usual. I'm back with another YouTube video. So in this video, excuse me. Sorry, guys. We're going to be doing a beverage review for Mountain Dew. Uh, we've been doing a ton of Mountain Dew reviews, but not any recently. It's been a little while. And uh, this one is called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Um, let me just shine the light on it real quick. There you go. He wants to get a better look at that. But, uh, that light is very bright. Um, from here, just, like, it kind of looks purple. It says on the bottom, it is a dark citrus punch. Um, so we have this. We're going to try it in the bottle and then with an ice in a cup and in a straw. Because I, I don't know why, but I feel like... When you put soda in a cup and sip it out of a straw, it just tastes so much better. I don't know what it is. Um, but let's try this. Okay. I have a feeling it's going to be like a grape soda. I wonder if it's actually pitch black. No, it smells nothing like it. It smells like a, a regular Mountain Dew to me. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's different. Here. Let's uh, pour it in here. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of purple, but it's not as, like, purple as a, a grape soda would be. But uh, you can kind of see the bubbles are purple. It's still foaming. Just kind of bizarre. Here, let's uh, take a look in here. Yeah, it is purple. It's like a purplish black. Like, it doesn't look appealing at all. But, um, let's give it a better taste, because that taste was kind of funky. Let's give it a swirl around, as if that's going to do anything. This is really weird. It tastes like, uh, this is a really weird thing to say, but it tastes like an expired, crappy version of regular Mountain Dew. Like, it's not terrible, you know. I can drink it, but. And I'll finish it, but it's, it's, I'm not going to drink it again. I'm not going to buy this in the store again. Um, yeah, this is interesting. I give it a three out of five. For some reason, it does taste better in a cup with a straw. I don't know what it is, but it's like soda is better when it's in a cup. I don't know what it is, guys. Is it scientific? Or is it just a matter of opinion? Anyways, um, so I haven't really been going through too many of my comments lately, which I got to do tonight. Um, but I've noticed that, uh, not as many people have been commenting on my YouTube videos. I've been getting, you know, the same amount of likes, but, uh, people aren't really commenting. And, um, you know, it is what it is, I guess. But I do like feedback on my videos, and I really do enjoy responding to comments, so. It'd be nice if y'all could drop a comment, you know? Uh, anyways... Other than that, I don't have too many video updates. Um, but yeah, this uh, drink is decent. Like, like, should you personally buy it? I mean, if you want. Okay, expired was the wrong word. Let me just get another flavor here. You know what? Let me hold my nose and base it uh, off the aftertaste. Right here, here's what I mean, okay? It's really funky. Like, there's not even, it's not even a distinct, there's no, like, fl it's, there's no, like, flavor to it. It's not like you got cherry, blue raspberry, peach, strawberry, watermelon. It's just pitch black Mountain Dew. There's, like, it's, I, maybe I'm tasting chemicals. I really don't know. This is the weirdest drink I think we've ever reviewed on this channel. 
Mountain Dew always comes out with like kind of like scary names like Pitch Black or uh, Voltage. They also got Code Red. Uh, what else? Um, a lot. There's a there's a Mountain Dew Live Wires flavor. Like, what the hell are Live Wires supposed to taste like? Mountain Dew might as well be live wires. You know how much chemicals is in this? You could probably, uh, you could probably charge your phone with this. With this, John, you could put, uh, put the, uh, put your plug in there and then be able to charge your phone or, com or, uh, computer. That's, there's probably battery acid in this, John, like. <laughs> um, yeah, the Mountain Dew is really good. This is probably, now, I don't know about the worst Mountain Dew flavor, it's just, so interesting it's like what even is this like who actually came up with this so like who came up with the flavor it's supposed to be like a dark citrus what do you, there's no dark citruses the darkest citrus is a grapefruit and it's red it's not black like what even is this mm. well maybe the ingredient looking at the ingredients will help me out a little bit Water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, natural flavor, sodium uh, benzoate, uh, preserves that preserves freshness, caffeine, gum, Arabic sodium. What's Arabic sodium? <laughs> Citrate. Red 40? What the f- It's red 40. I've never heard of that before. Oh my god. Uh calcium desodium edsta to protect protect flavor. Sucrose acetate iso trait blue one bottled under the authority of PepsiCo New York State. Guys, what the hell are those ingredients? That that didn't help me at all. Now I'm really concerned, like, I just injected uh, Red 40 into my body, whatever that is. Whatever, uh, whatever I just listed, I mean, Jesus, what is in Mountain Dew? Like, this, see what I mean? This is all this stuff mixed together. It's like they're making some kind of battery acid when, they, when you're drinking Mountain Dew. Wow. And uh, if you uh, want to take a look for yourself, the ingredients, maybe you can pronounce them correctly. Like these names are just, I don't know if they're like Latin or something, but here, let's take a look at the ingredients. I'll show y'all. I will show y'all these ingredients right here. See? So if you want to, it's not focusing <laughs> if you want to zoom in and take a screenshot i would recommend you do that but i just listed all the ingredients this is like some kind of like uh something out straight out of a science lab like what am i even drinking so Honestly, I do recommend you pick this up only because you have to try it for yourself to really understand what I'm saying. It's just, it's so interesting. But something in this keep, keeps me coming back. Like, I just, I want to drink it. This is really weird, whatever it is. I'm never buying this again. If I'm alive by the end of this video, that's good. If I'm alive to make another YouTube video, that's even better. <laughs> this is just, I, I don't even want to know why this is allowed. Like, how are all these ingredients? Red 40? That sounds like uh, some kind of uh, thing you use on your car. That doesn't even sound like food. Sodium benzoate or something like if you look at ingredients and there's words you can't pronounce, you know, you got problems right off the bat. Like 
or if you have high fructose corn syrup. I think high fructose corn syrup is banned in Europe. It's in almost everything here. I got high fructose corn syrup running through my blood every single day because I drink soda. Every soda in this damn country has a freaking uh, high fructose corn syrup, but I love soda. I drink too much damn soda. <laughs> um, so yeah, just, just like I said, just get one of these. I would not get, like, for some reason I saw, uh, like, a, like a six pack of these at the supermarket. I wouldn't buy that. Uh, these are just, I mean, this is just a whole nother level of just unhealthy. This is like battery acid toxins you're putting into your body. I mean, like, what? Uh, the total amount of sugar is 75 grams. So, yeah, and it contains 0% juice? Then what the hell? Okay, the soda I get. That's uh, carbonated water. What is, what is the, you see? Like, you would think the rest of it would be juice. No juice in here. What is the other stuff? You know, this is just... Freaky. And I'm even freakier for just drinking this. In injecting this, uh live wires into my body injecting these toxins into my body i'm a psychopath y'all what is this drink turning me into and look i'm coming back for more i, I just i don't want to waste it but i'm never buying this again that's gonna be for today's video make sure to like subscribe and uh god bless all you guys